In the first videos of our series on autonomous mobility, we discovered how robot taxis are developing in American cities and what people think of them. In this video, we will analyze the interest of vehicle automation for the transport of goods. In the past, pilot projects have been carried out in Europe to test trucks in platooning mode. It means only the first truck is driven by a human while the others follow in automated mode. Scania recently announced that it would be testing a self-driving truck on a highway in Sweden. But what is the situation in the United States regarding autonomous trucks? Let's first meet Cedric, who is in charge of vehicle automation technology at Waymo. Yeah, hi, uh, my name is Cedric Dupont. I'm a product manager for Waymo Via. Waymo Via is our uh, trucking uh, operation. So our objective is to make it easy for things to get around. And we're equipping class A trucks, so large semi trucks with uh, systems that allow them to drive autonomously. At the origins of Waymo, we were focused on personal vehicles. In 2018, roughly, we realized that there was a big opportunity to make the Waymo driver, so this, the full technology stack we're, we're building to make it possible for uh, personal vehicles to drive themselves, make that driver applicable to lar much larger vehicles, in this case, Class 8 trucks. We proved it out in partnership with operators, uh, freight brokers, and the whole ecosystem we're currently uh, running pilots, driving loads autonomously between our Dallas and Houston hub. This is one of the reasons why large logistics companies are interested in the development of autonomous trucks. Waymo's development strategy is different from that of Robotaxis, where the company manages the entire service, vehicle technology mobile application. For autonomous trucks, the approach is to partner with logistics companies and equip their trucks, not the trailers, with automation technologies. Partnerships are underway with big companies such as JB Hunt, CH Robinson and Uber Freight. Back in Phoenix to visit the Waymo Vias warehouses located in the suburbs next to the main highways. We'll find out how this technology could potentially revolutionize the trucking industry by meeting Richard, Trucking Operations Manager at Waymo. Hi Xavier, uh, my name is Richard. Uh, my current role here at Waymo is a uh, program manager with trucking operations. Uh, I've been working here at this facility for about seven years. Uh, I started out as a driver back in the day where they have the little uh, firefly cars um, that were on the road up until today with the trucks that you see behind me. I was lucky enough to see the progress of, of the system, the self-driving system from then till now, um, but it's an, it's an amazing feeling. Um, what I do at the company, I uh, basically manage the day-to-day -day, um, for the trucks, ensuring that we work side-by-side -side with tech um, to make sure that the trucks are online and are available to be out on the road testing. We also work with the engineers um, based on the testings that they request, you know, the truck availability, the types of testing that's required. Uh, we work hand-in-hand -hand with that to schedule those out on the road. We will now get the views of Marc Ambla, our local expert based in Palo Alto, as well as Bernard Piet, Director of Logistics in Wallonia, an innovation cluster dedicated to transport and logistics in the south of Belgium. So, in, in terms of autonomous trucking, um, we need to take into account a few things. One, this is a business. So, whereas when you or I drive, there's no cost associated to it. So, removing the function of driving doesn't remove any cost. We're still sitting in the car, just not driving. Eventually, if it ever, if it happens, when it happens, when you talk about the truck, if you're able to remove the cost of the driver, that there's a business case there. So that's one element. Second element is also the fact that there's a shortage of driver in the U.S., where people less and less want to spend their weeks on the on the road away from their families. So allowing for long distance trucking to become driverless is also a way to remove a pain point in terms of operating these businesses. So for these reasons, this financial, this also operational, finding drivers to, to, to operate uh, justifies uh, deploying uh, autonomous trucks uh, as we start seeing already, there are already loads being transported with uh, autonomous trucks as pilots commercially, uh, but uh, the scaling again will start happening within the next probably two years.
Bonjour, je m'appelle Bernard Piet, je suis l'administrateur délégué de Logistics Ibrolonia. Est-ce que les technologies que l'on développe en Chine ou aux états unis vont trouver une application en Europe C'est possible. Mais je pense que la, la différence fondamentale, la manière dont nos régions sont configurées en Europe, impose d'autres contraintes. On connaît tous les autoroutes en Belgique. On sait qu'en Belgique, on ne fait pas 3 km dans une autoroute sans passer par une sortie d'autoroute. On ne fait pas plus de 50 km sans passer par un échangeur, ce qui implique énormément de confrontations de circulation, de, de, de changements de circulation, de, de cisaillement éventuellement de circulation. Et donc, je pense qu'il y aura des difficultés, à mon avis, à développer des camions autonomes, notamment pour la logistique, à large échelle dans nos régions, pour une série de contraintes physiques, mais aussi pour une série de contraintes réglementaires, puisque les réglementations, pour le moment, obligent toujours d'avoir un homme susceptible de pouvoir reprendre le contrôle d'un véhicule à tout moment. Et donc, il faut aussi une adaptation législative et, je pense, encore plus fondamentalement, une acceptation sociétale. Je pense qu'un autre défi de l'automatisation, c'est celui-là. C'est le fait de faire en sorte que nous, consommateurs et citoyens, soyons d'accord de côtoyer sur les routes des véhicules qui sont peut-être sans pilote ou qui fonctionnent sur d'autres modes opératoires, avec le risque que cela peut euh, impliquer et notamment les responsabilités en matière d'accident. As we can see, autonomous trucks are developing rapidly. In the United States, they could hit the road even faster than robot taxis. The economic benefits could be huge for logistics providers if they can replace the driver and optimize trucking operations. 